going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town, coming to you live with another NBA video, man. Check it out. The young Swaggy P, Swaggerwork P, Nick Young, has signed for a one-year deal with the Golden State Warriors, worth $5.2 million, man. Now, this is hot off the presses. My dog, Adrian Wojnarowski, man, I mean, hey, when, when Woj say something, dog, what can you really say? Um... That's really it, but what does it mean for the Golden State Warriors? Like, you've already had, they're just adding more depth to the bench, man. There's more, more punching power. Now, from what I understand, you know, they just re-signed Steph. Obviously, Steph got one of the richest contracts in NBA history. Is he worth that? Is anybody worth 40 million a year? Fuck no, if they name ain't Jeff, or if they name ain't, um, what's your boy, uh, uh, LeBron. Nobody's worth that, but we that's a whole other video, but... In this day and age, when Mike Conley's getting what, like 32 a year? You goddamn right, Steph is worth that. But we we gonna get to that at a uh, at another time, man. That's a whole separate video. We gonna do that video. Uh, KD came back for about 10 million less than what he should have, you know, what than what he could have gotten. So you got KD back for I think they said about 25 million a year, something like that. Draymond is there. Iggy resigned. Uh, Livingston resigned. And uh, now you got Swaggy P, man. And um. I mean, and uh, obviously Clay is locked up, and also uh, David West resigned. I don't know to this point if uh, JaVale McGee is going to resign. They they haven't said anything about it yet, but um, he's meeting with other people. Uh, you know, they're talking about <sighs> the Warriors remain. From what I'm seeing, they're saying that the Warriors remain an option, but. But he's meeting with the Clippers and all of that. Like, I don't even understand why he would go to the Clippers. Like, I, I don't think they can give him more money. And you're not going to win there. So, uh, well, Blake is already gone. And, uh, well, not Blake is already gone. Blake resigned. But CP3 is gone. And um, we don't really know what's going to happen. Maybe they're going to shop uh, DeAndre or whatever. I think they were talking about shopping DeAndre. I don't, I don't know why you would go there, uh, JaVale. But anyway, what this really does... You're going to add more more depth uh, to the bench. Uh, Ian Clark is a free agent, as you can see up there. I don't think he resigned yet, so uh, maybe that's maybe that's what uh, what what it is. You know, they're, they're getting him to replace him, or they're going to get him to, re, to to see to you know if he doesn't want to resign, then they already got that guy, so it's all good. Um, but that's really it, man. It's just filling out the bench. And watch this. By the time y'all see this damn video, Ian Clark will probably have have signed with somebody. Um, and 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 it'll be wrong. But I told y'all last. I told y'all last yesterday that Gordon Hayward was gonna sign with them boys, man. And uh, you know, uh, okay. So looking at this, it says Ian Clark is going to resign. Um, gonna resign with them guys with with the Warriors. You know, a one year deal or whatever. So the bench is pretty much filled out. But uh. Ian Clark probably one of the best players that nobody fucking knows about at all. Like, he's probably one of the best players that nobody knows about. And he just gets to sit there, make money, and just come off the bench. And he's like a spark plug. The fans love him, all this stuff. But so it looks like the, the, what the Warriors have done, and we don't know about Zaza, we don't care. I mean, we might need him to come off the bench, hurt somebody, or Matt Barnes. Um, it is what it is. Um, I ain't looked up who they signed with yet or if they signed or none of this stuff. But I did check out these guys. Um, the bench is pretty much well rounded out, man. You got you gonna have, I mean, you got the same team plus Swaggy P, and uh, you know if they get Javale McGee back and uh, all that good stuff, I don't see anybody standing in their way. But I don't see Swaggy P really. He it's not one of those things where it's like he's he's gonna put them over the top of anything. It's just you know a little bit more bench. He's signing he's signing for you know five point two million and. It's a one-year rental, and he's probably just want to get him a ring, you know, like David, uh, just like David West said, wing ch ring chases, man, you know, he want to get him another ring, and I don't see who's going to stop him. It's not going to be Boston. I really don't think it is. Uh, they can, they Boston got to get past Cleveland. I don't know if Boston can get past Cleveland, even with Gordon Hayward. I said that yesterday, but even if they did, I think they could give the Warriors a run. It's crazy because I don't think that they could get past Cleveland, but I think that they could give the Warriors a run just because of matchups. But we're going to see, man. We, they don't play these games on paper. They play them in their arenas. Anyway, we're about to get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This is just a sign of the fill out the bench or what. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Get six out this mug.